Harley Quinn and Batman are teaming up for an original adventure in the newest movie from Warner Brothers Animation. The Dark Knight and Mistress of Mischief have more in common than you might think, and we scheduled a therapy session with the legendary Bruce Timm to get all the details. Bruce, thanks for joining us on DCL Access. Absolutely. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the premise of Batman and Harley Quinn? It's a action slash comedy, probably with a little bit more of an emphasis on the comedy. In broad strokes, it's kind of like 48 Hours with superheroes. It's um, Batman having to team up with Harley Quinn to um, stop Poison Ivy's latest um, world-threatening plot. And was this inspired by any Batman or Harley Quinn story specifically? Uh, I mean, there was an episode that we did back in the old days uh, called Harlequinade, which was, had basically the same rough plot line. Um, so it, it certainly falls into the template of that episode, but it's the, the story specifics are, are, are pretty drastically different throughout. And since Batman and Harley Quinn have to sort of team up in this movie, what is the relationship like? Uh, the relationship between Batman and Harley in this movie is, uh, it's interesting. It's kind of like stern dad and his really bratty teenage daughter. She, you know, Batman's like, he's like the controlliest of control freaks, you know? And he's constantly trying to get Harley to do what he wants her to do. And um, she always manages to find a way to get her own way throughout the whole movie. Well, I can help you find her, but you're gonna put in a good word for me with the parole boy. Hmm. No. So that's kind of fun. Um, and at the same time, you know, he kind of needs her, and, and he's, he's not he's not exactly a people person, you know. No, not really. So, I wouldn't call um, Batman a so yeah, person. so you know, he uh, <laughs> it, it's uh, you know he, he's constantly frustrated throughout the entire movie because, like I said, he, he tries to get her to go left, and she's going to go right and up and down all at the same time. Now this movie also has the first animated appearance of Floronic Man. Yeah. Now, can you tell me a little bit about why now? Why did we need Floronic Man in this movie? <laughs> and I kind of thought it made kind of a weird kind of sense to kind of team him up with Poison Ivy because they both are plant-based villains. This is no ordinary leafy mouse, but a harbinger of the new age. They both see that, you know, the, the horrible things that, that man is doing to the world in terms of you know, global warming and pollution. So we've seen a lot of different versions of Harley Quinn since she premiered in Batman the Animated Series. Mm -hmm. But for you, what is it about Harley that makes her Harley? She needs to be unpredictable. She needs to be funny. Um, it, it's she does have you know different shades to her as well. She does have different dimensions. You know, she she does have a, a, an interesting internal life. Mm -hmm. She also has a really complicated backstory. I, I think bottom line is, despite all of the other things that are interesting about her, I think she needs to be funny. Holly Quinn reporting for duty, sir. God help us. The world premiere of Batman and Harley Quinn will be at San Diego Comic-Con, which is right around the corner. And if you can't make it to SD, don't worry. Stay tuned to DC All Access because we're gonna have wall-to-wall -wall coverage of San Diego. Plus, we have a new DC video every single weekday. See you tomorrow, super friends.